Drinking Broets. Yes, welcome to Drinking Broets. This is Jesse Wiseman. And this is the beautiful, talented, okay. gorgeous, really? Did you amazing, have to do that? funny, super strong Tiffany Hart. Okay. <laughs> Next time I got you. I see how we're going to do it. You All just made me feel like shit now. Jesse Wiseman. So I guess like she doesn't. <laughs> think i'm cool but that's all right listen uh, i thought we were gonna get straight to work no you're right you're okay? right okay guess no, what that's me that's me just being insecure <laughs> you're amazing you know that dude but this beginning of this year dude it's 2020 it's 2020 i've been like i'm letting go of the insecure thing yeah which is tied to i mean we'll get into resolutions but it's tied to like not necessarily weight but how i've been eating how i've been treating myself yeah. like I am letting go of it. There you go. Right? You mean as in a sense not focusing on it nonstop? Just doing something about it. Oh, really okay. like there's so no I, way to shut off no your insecurity. Yeah. There's no way to shut off your insecurity and especially as a woman, right? No, we're there's no way to shut it off. So just like target the things that you're like I'm insecure about this and this and this and target them. Sure. And just if go stop fucking being so insecure about it. And right. If there's nothing you can do and about it, it fine. Not, accept it. Accept it. Try as best Which you can to Which is really hard, it. and that's, like, a really hard thing to say. No, it is. Say, but you can at least target some things. Like, if you don't have any insecurities, you're a horrible person, and I don't want to talk to you. Everyone does. And Everyone any, and does. Someone who do, and whoever does not admit it probably has the you're most annoying. in that room. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I have no insecurities. Yeah. When that's deep down me. inside, they're judging themselves in that moment, going, did I say that right? Did I look right? You know, uh, yeah. they could. We all do. Yeah. I like that. I don't, I'm not really a resolution person, but no. I always do the whole, and I don't want this to sound silly or anything, like, oh, I just reflect over the whole year, <laughs> but I kind of do some self-reflection. Yeah. Like, I need to sit there and go, what, how am I fucked up? Right. And what do I need to change? Yeah. And what am I doing good at? Because we have the tendency to really nitpick at ourselves. So I just sit there and go, okay, these are things that you've been doing pretty good. Right. And let's just continue on with that. But for right. the most part, it's like, okay. I could be patient, more patient. Yeah. Less stubborn. Like you're going to continue to wear fuzzy sweaters. <laughs> I'm going to keep wearing blazers, I right? I will definitely keep wearing... Listen, There's going to be some things that, that we're going to keep the same, I right? I obsessed with these things this year. Someone I need to the get other. them, but you know like when you get to a trend a little bit too late and yeah. then you look like a fucking poser copycat? So I like so want to get one, but I'm so late on the train where it's literally... Well, you these know, were, these started a couple years ago. Yeah. And I got them a few years ago. Of course and you now did. of course you were ahead of the trend. They're popular and I'm like, of course they are. Yeah. Um I love I've blazers will never grow out of style though. No. So that's why I like keep with them because I could never be insecure about <laughs> not having like the trend, yeah. right? I wanna be timeless. Some guy asked me the other day, he's like, Did you chop off the head off of Dan's teddy bear costume? Right. And where I'm, I'm sorry, like, but again, <laughs> I'm like how did you know? How did you know? I love these things, though. I will say that they're they super soft. They look really good. And listen, if you are having an insecure day, right? Ugh. Like this, I have wearing like a tight black bodysuit. And of course, it's already supposed to be slimming. I gotta be honest, you know, my stomach's not in the place I want it to be. Right. And, you know, I talked about my miscarriage before, but I'm, I swear it has not gone down since, no matter what I do. Yeah. And so I'm, it's one of those things where I'm like, I'm going to work on it, but I don't want to focus on it too much. And make it a big deal. Yeah. So right now, I'll just wear some big ass baggy teddy, and you know, it like looks softly good. Shirts over it. Yeah. Yeah. Looks I'm comfortable. Good. So how was your New Year's, by the way? I want how how did you ring in 2020, girlfriend? Hmm. <laughs> Let me hear it. How do I? How do I say? Do we have a resolution though? Like, do you have just one that is like a big one that you're like, that's what I'm gonna do? Get pregnant. <laughs> I like it. Bah! Get preggers. Your, how about keep your phone off while you're fucking recording That's resolution? The, how about that you one? Loser. That's yours. How about be fucking professional, you loser? Oh, by the way, I brought you a phone case. You did? I did. Oh my God, thank God. I, I almost got one, but I was no. like, I think I'm no. getting one. You are. And awesome. I ran upstairs before I left today and I was like, I'm getting Jesse her damn yes. phone case. Yes. Okay, but no, realistically, so I would I like, like to have a baby. That's I a like great this. one. What about you? Um, you have one? I want to. I said about it on I said this on Ross Patterson Revolution, but I want to stay away from I want to hang out with busy people mm. as opposed to bored people. So I, I have it. a couple people in my life right now that are very bored. So they don't have a lot like driving them. Going
going on, like even a hobby. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying like stay at home mom is a busy motherfucker. If that's your job and that's your focus, like you are fucking busy. Like if you have a passion, if you work out, if you whatever it is, you are busy. If you're bored, you create drama. You do. You try and entertain yourself with... You know, idle hands are I know. the devil. I mean, it really is. Well, you know what? And you heighten these things that are like no fucking big deal. If you're busy, you don't have fucking time you don't. for the bullshit. If you're busy and you have one second to hang out with a friend, you're not going to fill it with bullshit, right? Mm-hmm. You're going to be like, let's just have, let's just relax. Yeah. Like, let's just have a good time because my work or my life or whatever is so hectic that yeah. I want to just. And you know what? A lot of times when people are bored like that, they start drama as well start drama because their life is boring yes. that is the most entertaining great, thing is drama oh my gosh anytime you have gossip you i'm like give it to TV. me yeah let's be real we've talked about this before with Reality desperate TV. housewives and yes. all that other stuff yeah that's a great resolution that is like in my head one of the things i learn every year right for me when it comes to like friends and yeah. stuff like that i start noticing more and more characteristics of what i want in my friends yeah Yes. And what I don't. And the people that or I want to hang I'm out doing with. doing myself, yes. too. Because it's like, I know somebody's probably somewhere talking about how I am to sure. them or whatever. And that they want to stay away from people that are busy all the time and can't be good friends, right? Which is what I am sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, and I beat myself up about that. But, so, no matter what it is, right? You're, yeah. like, learning things about yourself. And you're learning things, like, I know from your posts. You learn things every day about who to keep in your life and who to cut out yeah. right but it's an it's something that you have to keep telling you yourself do. it's hard every time you let someone like that back in or whatever I you know. go dude i fucking knew and this at already. the end of the day sometimes i'm like i don't even i can't blame anyone but myself, but myself. because i li- literally let them back in yeah that's a good one i like that so let's both do so that i have i'm having a baby and you're gonna have a lot of awesome friends <laughs> and i'm gonna have busy friends right that busy maybe can't friends. always hang out like I want to have friends that don't have time to hang out with me so that when we do, because I don't have any fucking time. So no, like, I don't either. Right? I, I feel, feel like a bad friend to people like that too. So I'm like, I need to I surround myself more with people that are just as busy as I am so that when we do hang out, it's very precious, right? Well, For both too? of us. You're the company that you hang around. Yes. Right? So, and you want people to be busy. You want people to be. Yes moving and shaking moving forward right you want them to be excelling because you that pushes you yeah you become that that's yeah. why it says hang out with the people that you want to become yes right yes um and also hang out with people who are happy for your um endeavors and happy. your accomplishments right they or don't feel like they they're competing with you yeah so that they have stuff that i can also be happy Correct. about so like you know wh- again whether it's like a book that you're reading that you're super into Mm -hmm. we can talk about whether you have a hobby whether you went to the gym something that we can like both be happy for each other yeah for and not just like one-sided anything whatever i'm clearly talking about someone specific but (laughs) (laughs) right don't we all you always know it's not even one one person person. but for me it's like there's at least a few that will come to mind sometimes we talk i'm like oh that's kind of like so and so so would you ever put would you put posts like that sometimes on your instagram right which is like don't let people da 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 and i go "Mm, i wonder who she's talking about right but every time i'm like i know it's one person and you always want to know who that person i will say this that's one thing i've always been good about is that I make sure that I'm not on social media sitting there as some passive aggressive little punk bitch. That's not me. Oh, I, hate I don't that. want that. I, hate that. I don't want that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I have a problem with someone, I'm going to say it. Right. And I've probably said it to you already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's no reason to. All so my whenever posts, you post no, that. No, all my posts are very like just personal or just things, things you're that I thinking see about. Or things I'm thinking about. Okay. And when someone takes it personal is when I'm like. True, huh? Part of me goes, who the fuck are you to think you're so special? I think that I'm sitting I'm around really thinking about you, about you all the you. time. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But number two, I get like, really? You think I'd really do that? Like, if I had a problem with you, right? then I would tell you. But number three, I also go, oh, maybe you are insecure about something because maybe that is something wrong. People tend to take post or whatever offensively if whatever it applies to them, right? Whatever they're thinking about themselves, right? Yeah. Right? You're right. So, so if you think it's about you, then you got... It's, it must and be. And guess what? If you, if you think it is, just ask them. 
Hey girl, this is gonna be so weird, so fucking random. I read this, it might just be in my insecurities right now. I didn't know if we were talking about me. I know I haven't been great of a friend or whatever. I'm right. so sorry, I've been busy. Right. Like, oh my God, no, it wasn't you at all. And then you get out in the open, you're communicating. Well, that's always right? my my modus operandi or whatever. Like I, I always want to have the sit down. Mm -hmm. Like, and nobody wants to do it. I'm the same way. They avoid. And I'm always like, let's just get together. Let's just talk. Like, let's just talk. Let's meet. Like, I would love. I love to just have the sit down, hash it out, get over it. Yeah. Nobody fucking likes doing that. And well, you know, unfortunately, we're in this social media world too, though, where everyone talks through a, a screen. Yeah. All the time. You don't have to have the balls anymore. You can literally just type it out with your big fat thumbs and yeah. say whatever the hell you want without any consequences. Yeah. But like, Jared, what you want to do though? Yeah. Is sit down face to face and sit there and go, hey, listen, we are two adults. I just like to get Let's conversate. over the shit really quick. Like I, I'm the same. Because oh when my you God, don't talk way. about it, it, it festers and it builds up on because you both know it gets what's worse. going on, yeah. and you're like both either avoiding or acting nice or blah blah blah. And if you just talk about it, you can just move on. Mm -hmm. I have one one friend that's really good about that. Like yeah. one friend that's just like, hey, I'm calling you. Because this is what I saw. This is what I think. Yeah. Woman to woman. I and I'm just that. like, nice, dude. And she's like, we don't have a problem. I just want to tell you. And I'm like, dude, that's fucking awesome. Yeah. Like, thank I you for telling that. me. I'm going to explain myself to you. Now you understand where I'm coming from. Now we both get like what's happening and no one is in their head making s bored, making some fucking thing up. You know what I mean? Yep. That, it, that it totally isn't. So, uh, now that's a good friend. That's a good friend, that's, right? That's what I want. That's what I want in my life. I don't want the bullshitters. I don't want, I don't want, you know what I don't want? This is what scares me. I, I get we all vent. Yes. And we, and guess what? We're people, we're humans, we're going to have problems with others. I totally get that all day long. And I also get too that sometimes you might not like someone, but you're still respectful to their face. Right. Or you if know, you are talking about them, sometimes it comes from a place of, like love concern love concern or, caring or you know them so sure. well that it's like talking about them like a brother or a sister but this is where i get concerned is when you have a person in your life who's talking like mad shit like just dogging on them everything yeah. about their character hates yeah. them has nothing good to say but then like we'll say social media for example mm-hmm they exalt them. It's, oh, this is my best friend, or oh, this is the most yeah, amazing like, person or thing in the world, or like all this other stuff. And you're like, wait a second, that doesn't make sense because you literally just turned around and told everyone else that you didn't like them. But then, like, are you doing it to save face? Are you doing it because you guys talked it over now? Like, with or it discounts the relationship that you and this person have because sure. are they lying to you? That's are they trying to make you happy and just? pandering to you I don't care about which stuff person like that, are they like, you know what i mean yeah yeah i want someone to be honest and truthful with me i don't care if we don't like the same person i don't care if we don't like the same politician president w company whatever have your own opinion i think outer it's great. choice and outerwear yeah you know <laughs> i think it's great <laughs> like you know what i mean yeah yeah you yeah. like blazers i like teddies it's hey, fine girl we can still hang out but where my where i get worried and in my head, I start going, wait, if they can do this so easily to all these other people, they be could wary. be doing it to me. Be wary. Right? If they can talk shit so easily on apparently like one of their good friends, then like what makes me any different? And then that's where like my, I get in my head and that's where I'm like, okay, I want to talk to them. And I hate talking to people via like texting. I want to call them. I want to actually rather do it in person, but I hey, mean, you can't Calling really is the new in person. Because it is. Well, FaceTiming. Yeah. 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 Um, one more kernel, girl kernel yeah. of wisdom. Let me hear this. Um, be wary of friends that tell you about other people talking shit about you. Oh, they're not doing that to like, Hey girl, I just wanted to let you know, like, this is what people are saying about you. They're not doing it for you. They're doing it to make you feel bad and to take you down. You know so what? don't oh, ever wow. think that a girl that comes up to you and says, Hey, look, I just feel like I need to tell you that this person was saying this, this, and this about you. No. Because they would, here's how they would handle it if it's a real friend. They would tell that person to shut up. Oh, yeah. They would tell them they're wrong. I don't want to talk shit about this person. And they would never fucking mention it to you. Correct. You know, it's funny you say that. I never really had a girlfriend really like that. But I've worked with all guys my whole career. Yeah. Right? And I've always had a few guys in my life um, who I work with who would always, always guaranteed 
tell me anything they heard about me when people would talk shit. And I swear I would Mm-mm. be doing really good Mm-mm. and I wouldn't let anything get to me. And then the minute they would tell me that I would just, I felt like I hit rock bottom and I would start overthinking it and then wondering why they spoke about me this way. And I, I feel like but I had to the prove person wrong. that came to you. Oh my God. Is the worst of them all. And so the person yeah. talking behind your back is not even as bad as the friend Dude, he that told me comes so much and shit. tells you. Yeah. That's the real fucking enemy. And I had to eventually tell him, listen, you're disturbing my peace. You have to stop with this shit because I'm doing, I'm doing yep. good. I'm trying to ignore it. I don't want to hear it. And then the minute you tell me that I feel like, you know, I'm just, I spiral again and let it all get into my and head. that's what he wanted and you I to do. And I had it. T- I had, I told him stop. I have, a, I think I told bored. two people that. He oh, was sh- bored with something. Bored with life. He You're was right bored though. with There's whatever. a right way of doing it. He, you know, I don't know what the right way is, but it's definitely to never say exactly what the person said. Yeah. If you want to just be like, hey, I don't think that person is your friend. Just be wary. Yeah. Because you want you, I would want you to find out on your own. Sure. I would never want to tell you about somebody that's like, because I don't know if they were having a bad day, if they're mm-hmm. PMSing, if you guys just got in a fight. I don't know. But well, I would just be like, hey, keep your eyes open with this person. I just get a bad then. vibe, right? I would never tell you something that somebody said bad about you because it's, because that doesn't help anyone. It doesn't yeah. help anyone. Well, let me ask you this. Just to kind of play devil's advocate or not really. If you did sit there and you were like, hey, you heard shit about me from some other girl. Right. And you stuck up for me and you were like, fuck you, bitch. Right. Okay. And you have my back and everything you need to do. Yeah. And then later on, you see me like just going hard in the friends with her, like in the mm-hmm. friends with her. Mm-hmm. And you, you care for me. So you sit there and go, hey, Tiff, I think just be like cautious of her. And if I start asking you why, like, why, what? Did you hear something? What? Do you know something I don't know? Would you tell me or would you just? No, I would say, uh, I wouldn't say that I heard anything Mm -hmm. from her, but I would just, I would just tell you to keep your eyes open about this person. Um, Be wary. Uh, Right? But then would you think though? Let me ask you this. Because then would you think that later on people would be like, why did you lie to me? She said this, this, and this shit about me, and you knew it, and you didn't say anything to me about it. So... I did say something to you about it. I said, watch out for this girl. She's not good. Yeah, but why didn't you tell me what she said? I did. I'm not going to tell you what. I'm did not going to tell I'm you. Saying? I know, I know. Play the devil's advocate. No, this is our fight. We're going to yeah. have the real fight now. <laughs> so I wouldn't tell you. I'm, I would say, I'm Tiffany, I'm not going to tell you what she said. It was just a fucking bunch of bullshit. But yeah. I am going to say that she's not your friend. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. Keep yeah. your eyes open. Like... Just be wary of this person. Mm -hmm. That's all. I don't think, like, if you want to ask her, go ahead. Yeah. But I can't tell you. Like, I'm not going to tell you. If you want to ask her if she, you know, that you heard something that she said, does she want to tell you what it is? Fine. Whatever. Yeah. But, and, um... It would only be, you know, I don't know. I, that don't would, know. I know that'd be hard because I sit but there the in my head. But the thing is like people talk shit sometimes and it doesn't necessarily mean. No, that's true. Anything. So it's like. Well, I get, I, I like to know. vent to people and I like. Yeah. And not in a bad way, but I like to vent sometimes and get people's perspective on things. Right. So to me, if I'm sitting there saying like, you know, I'm kind of having a hard time in this or this, blah, 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 blah. But I will say there's definitely a difference between venting and going, this person's a piece of fucking shit. Right, or I just hate being them. petty or whatever. They're a waste of space. Yeah. Like, I can't believe, like, look at her, look at him, and then turn around and being like, oh, hey. Mwah, mwah, yeah. Hey. Because <laughs> I can't get on people for talking shit because I, it's one of my favorite pastimes, right? <laughs> if there was an Olympics for talking shit, I would, gossiping, all of that. Like, I love it. But I sure. never, if it goes to a, like, malicious place. Yeah, that's what like I'm talking about. I like, about. you know, poking fun. I like, you know, talking about situations that happen, whatever. But yeah. if it goes to a malicious place or there's somebody that I really think is trying to take you down or doesn't, like, is going behind your back with business stuff or family stuff or whatever, like, I'm going to tell you. And if that's she's just talking, talking shit, it's like, we all fucking talk shit. Yeah, we do. You can tell the difference between somebody that really fucking hates you and someone that's just like joking around fed up with something or PS, you know pmsing or you guys really did you know your whatever it may be like something that you yeah. guys always fight about whatever and she's just venting to someone else about it there's you can tell the difference between someone that's really trying to maliciously 
be a bitch and someone's just talking girls just talk shit and the behind thing is people's backs they just do no we I, well everyone we do. does everyone everyone does real. but like we and when really i when you do. really peel it back and bring it to its core it's because they like i know it sounds fucked up but it's because they care yeah like why else would oh. they be like so either bothered or hurt or have the need to talk about it? it's because they care about you oh my gosh i know it's a weird way of showing it but they do Drinking bros, we talk so much shit about Jared, right? <laughs> we all talk so much shit about him. Yeah. I mean, he's topic of conversation for hours. Yeah. And you're like, look around and you go, why are all these people obsessed? They're talking shit, but they're obsessively but they talking him, shit because they love him, him. Yeah. Because he is like, he actually is a really interesting person in our, in our group and yeah. in our space. Well, so. he's also genuine. Right. And you he know. also will talk shit about himself and all of this. So it's like, there's that too, mm -hmm. right? Where you go, look, if someone's talking that much shit about you, they must give a shit. Yeah. Because if you don't give a shit about someone, you don't say shit. Yeah. You just don't fucking call them back. You don't text them back. No. Like, you just don't. You make, there's zero In the effort real world. involved. Yeah. No, that's true. So we should talk about New Year's. We'll do the sponsors first. Yeah. And then. Oh my God. Sounds like you have a story. I don't. Dude, mine's, my New Year's was like a shit boring. show at the end. Oh, I can't wait. It was like so great, and then it turned into a, sh a shit show fest. Perfect. That's how New Year's yeah. should be. I don't know. Like, I'm not, like, I was the responsible one. I was so fed up with, <laughs> oh, You were the responsible God. one? Well, that's always annoying. It's always annoying <sighs> we'll to talk be about like, it. yeah, we'll definitely Jeez. talk about it. Let's get to our first sponsor, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. That's right. Drinking bros. Uh, girls, as, as much as we want to be, you know, feminist and out on our own, <laughs> we need the drinking bros. No, it's just easier. Yeah. It's easier <laughs> Under to- Under one umbrella. Right? It's one- um, You feminazi, it's one, you. It's one manly umbrella. Mm. We're never gonna listen. I'm about to fucking just shed my estrogen all over them. Oh yeah, all over them. Watch our show, you guys. <laughs> yes, broettes. What if our show is like bigger if you guys than theirs? Bigger? If you want to be a real feminist? Listen <laughs> to the show. Oh, sorry. Go say. You know what would be bed, awesome though? If we do have if we had more guy listeners too, like girls and guys though. I think God, we listen. will. Like if you're a guy that's not, you know. If you're a guy who is in who's touch, secure with who's himself, secure with themselves, you would listen. And you got big dick. You're and it may not listen. be. It may not be. Uh, See now, every guy's gonna exciting. listen because they're gonna be like, "Oh, she said if I listen, I have a big dick." So I'm gonna tell oh, everyone. Yeah. See, if, look, it's yeah. Do, the do you want to not listen and have right? like a little dick, or do you want to listen and have a big, big dick. dick? Completely up to you guys. Mm. Tell your friends. Yeah. But again, we're not going to be super interesting to guys. I'm sorry. It is a couple of girls talking shit if you like that kind of thing. But hey, you might learn some stuff. You might learn a lot. If you're dealing with some issues with your lady, your wife, you might get a little perspective here. Possibly. Mm -hmm. Ghostbed.com. Um, I think by the time this one airs, the 25% will be over. That okay. ended January 6th. But... They have always have deals and they always have uh fifteen percent off for military and first responder and then and that's all the time. Yeah. Across the board. That's awesome. Very supportive. Awesome. I might have promised dick. or I might have like told my parents, my like my my in laws. <laughs> Did you bring Ghost Bed into your drama? I did. I no, do it, it all the time. It wasn't drama. It was. No, I know, but I like calling it. So they were it. talking to me about this whole mattress fiasco and how they just moved down to their, they have like a summer home, kind of winter home in Florida now. Okay. Right? So they need a really good mattress because they have his brothers coming down there often and they're always bitching about this shitty mattress that he has. And I was yeah. like, hey, Ghost Bed, have you guys heard of it? Yeah. And they were like, no, not really. And I had to like try to name off 50 other beds and they're like, no. And um, I was like, anyways, I was telling them that there's like lights, right? In the oh, bed. And the adjustable bed. And the adjustable base. Adjustable base. But you have USB ports. But the, the bed base. itself is, if they did move into a new place, very easy to well, transport. And it's super comfortable. Doesn't it come in a box? Yeah, it comes that's in a box them. that's super easy to move. The yeah. pillows are amazing and match the same material that the bed is. It's really good. 
My dad didn't know about it either. I did. I said all the other names of They're those older, that I'm not going to yeah. say, but he didn't. He didn't know anything that I well, was talking I about. Talked it up, like not even talked it up, but just told him about it. They were like, "Okay, this is might be something we want to get." Yeah. So he was like an old car salesman, so he's really big on deals and yeah. getting like a good price for things and also warranties. Yeah. So once I told him about all of it and had him look it up, he was like, okay, this is something that's up my alley. Yeah. Like, I was like, awesome. My dad was super skeptical. Was he? Opened the box. It was like, because it comes, it's like smaller first because it's vacuumed. You have to give it like a day yeah, to puff that. up. So he's just like, God damn it. Right? Yeah. Like, what did all I right, do? All right. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> my dad's still like that too. Thanks a lot for this like <laughs> huge gift that yeah. I gave him. We'll Thanks. see what you got. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for the mattress, hon. Exactly. <laughs> He's skeptical of everything, no matter what. So, and finally, maybe like a month after he got it, he was like, I just want to let you know, this mass- mattress has changed my life. Like, I was not sleeping. My back was hurting. And now, but this is how he says it. <laughs> yeah. Like, not like, hey, Jess, thanks so much. It's like, I just let you know, it's changed my life. <laughs> you changed my life. Oh, wow. But anyways... They may be skeptical, but I really think, I mean, there's no way they're not going to love it. We, we push it on every show. I know. No, I think they, Um, and I would never do that with a product that is shitty Mm -hmm. because we care about our listeners too much and we, we hear about it if they don't like the product. We definitely, as you guys know, if you don't like something, you know, if they're, the shipping's too much or the promo code doesn't work or it's just not getting to you in time or they fucked up, like, we usually get rid of that sponsor if mm-hmm. they don't have also, they're not making you guys happy as well as us. Because with us, it's like, they'll give us the stuff. We get to use it. We love it. Yeah. But the customer service part is the other. That's and huge. Yeah. GoSped kills it with that. Good for them. The other one that's been a surprising... uh really good product and yeah. everyone is loving it is luke belay i love you know what they do re- they have really good marketing they have good marketing i love i just saw on the today Instagram. show did you yeah for uh new year's they were like going down like the best champagnes holy new year's. shit i know so get the deal now before these things kind of blow up i saw it at the grocery store but it was only the rosé the black one over there. Yeah. Anyways, l u c b e l a i r e dot com forward slash drinking bros. Um I, think I love that's the Lux. 20% off. Yeah. Lux is my favorite This so is far. my favorite. I gave I'm Oh, big, this one, yeah. I'm not a big rosé fan. Neither. It's still good, but I'm not just a huge rosé fan. I've never been. Yeah. This one is not sweet at all mm-hmm. which is the only reason why i can handle it and it is really good but it's not too dry either yeah because some of them are so dry you just can't yeah so i left a couple of these in my neighbor's uh mailbox before i went yeah for new year's because they were like one person was like hey um so where do i get like the luke belair like you know where to get it you go on the website <laughs> or you go to the store but if you're asking me that for means one. hey do you have one and look i do so <laughs> that's so nice here of you go yeah like well i want people if what? they like it i'm stoked right so yeah. i was like dude you really she's like it's the only champagne that i've drinking which we don't really drink champagne right but she's mm-hmm. the only champagne that i have drinking drunk drank yeah drunken you pulled a tiffany right there <laughs> Just, just fucked it up with your words. Drunken. Drunken. And I think it's drunken. Um, <laughs> it is Lord, when you're drunk. why have you for sucking me? Um, <laughs> uh, drunken that yeah. didn't give me a headache immediately, which wow. is so true. You know, like, if I you know. can't spend hundreds on champagne, you're getting like a $10 yeah. bottle. Yeah, you're going to have a shitty hangover. It's, it's going to be really, really low quality. So... Without going to a really expensive one, this is so good yeah. for the price and especially the price that you get with the Drinking Bros promo code. So, so there you it? go. Luke- I had some of it on New Year's. It still, it still was boring. I mean, we had the kids up, whatever. Oh, on your New Year's? Yeah, and one, you know, they both couldn't stay up, and um, it was a, it was okay. Yeah, it wasn't. What I thought was like, this is not my year, right? Like, this is not my year to like have a great New Year's, and I just let let that all go. Because remember when you're younger and you're like, this has to be the best night 
of my life and you like yes. you know you put so much pressure on the evening and yeah. you're like we're going out i'm dressing up i got the reservations we're going and you're like yep you always get disappointed it always sucks so i just kind of accepted that like this isn't my year it's not gonna seem like new year's i have the my little dumb dumb dinglings running around no my kids um <laughs> running around and trying to like make sure they're okay and not even really drinking because i was getting them yeah. all situated so that was my boring new year's but it sounds like i i prefer a boring new year's to be honest now yeah. it's not even boring it's relaxing to me yes for the so most mine part. wasn't even really that okay because so i, I would don't really love... like waking up so hungover on the next day oh. where you start off your first maybe one or two days of the year so incapable of doing anything at all because yes apologies for last episode what oh Rough. oh my god it was fine i think it was fun <laughs> i think when i listen back i, I might laugh fine. at my dumb dumb self but like Ooh. We're human. They get it. Ooh. Anyway, when go we're ahead. we're hungover, my, the brains don't work <laughs> at all. New Year's resolution. <laughs> know your limits. Now go ahead. Know your limits. Um, so for my uh, 2020. Yes, please. It, uh, the husband was like a few days before. said, hey, I think it'd be cool if we had just a few people over. And literally a few people is just a few people. And this is at your house. At our house. Okay. And I don't mind hosting people at our house because normally, for the most part, it's I chill. I kind of like it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, we have a big house. It's nice. It's organized. It's clean. Brag. I don't Go mind. Ahead. No, I mean, <laughs> I I keep it. I am OCD when it comes to it. Oh, I wish I I might was. not have you over if it's a mess, but I'll definitely clean for hours and then have you come over. <laughs> Are you the person? <laughs> Just a quick question. What? I don't want to ruin. I don't want to you no, know, interrupt on. during the interrupt. whole. Interrupt story but um do you kind of get uh then once people are over and they're sort of making a mess do you clean around them do you like get anxious about them making a mess there or do you kind of let them have fun normally most people don't make a mess in my house if it's they don't but like a cup somewhere or like I don't care. things food the plates are left around no i don't, don't care oh, okay, i don't okay, give okay, a okay. shit okay. it has to be a lot which is which is this is what goes into the story okay so you'll get to know Good. me a little bit more so Good. i grew up with my mom being really ocd when it comes to cleaning sure i, did I not. am not as much but i do like a clean house okay you know what i mean yeah, and yeah, not yeah. like super clean just put together put together not cluttered everything so in my husband place. got me a chris one of the, my christmas gifts was him getting the house cleaned Right. And I was oh, excited okay. because for the most part, it is cleaned. However, there was like baseboards that need to be done. Yes. Um, dusting on yes. the ceiling fans and stuff. Some of the stuff I just don't get to. So we had two ladies over at the house for a few hours and they cleaned it like really well. Oh, when there's two of them. Yeah. Were they white? Uh, one was white, one was black. Mm. And I was there cleaning Perfect myself. Perfect combo. Too. No, I was there cleaning myself. Oh, I know. Too. I always clean with them too. I did. I'm like, let they me do like, laundry. They were like, go away. Like, not in a bad way, but no, they were like, I know. no, just relax. And I was like, no, I, just, I really need to get all this shit off of my countertops. You know what I mean? Anyone who's had a cleaning lady too knows that you clean before they come too. I kind of did a little bit. Oh, you do. You always do because you well, don't want them to like. You don't want to be. It wasn't bad by it, but yeah. But I took up. I took up the mats. You know, I shook them out and I washed them, and oh God. because they weren't going to do that. Yeah, yeah. That's and true. by the way, they were one of those services that they couldn't move a single thing because it was a liability. So I had to move everything for them. So what I do you mean they couldn't move anything? I they cannot move a shampoo bottle, dude. What? I'm not fucking joking. I was so glad that I was there. That's why you the don't get a service. That's why you don't another... get a service. Just get somebody. Well, here's like... the issue. I love my husband to death, and. The the fact that he even bought me that gift was amazing. No, that's great. He no, knows was. you. He no, knows you. Yeah. It was so thoughtful. Yeah. And super sweet because yeah. he's insane. He was going to do it for a while and he did. Unfortunately, sometimes they don't read into certain details of things or ask those questions, you know. Right. And so, I, I mean, thank God we didn't leave because if we did, they wouldn't be able to clean anything really. They had, they had to have to clean around it. So the manager walks in. So confused. Right. So the manager walks in and goes, I'm going to take pictures of your whole house. And Chris was like, no, the fuck you ain't. And, and she was like, he's like, where are these going? Because at first, Lee was like, these are going to go on our website. And Chris was like, you're not putting pictures of our house on your website, especially with like our faces and frames and no. And then the manager walks in and says, hey, it's actually for liability. And I said, if you can just take pictures of stuff, you're going to clean like the floors and countertops stuff. I'm fine for liability, but please don't put them anywhere. And she's like, okay, cool. And then she goes, also, if you want your countertops clean in the bathroom, you need to move your, 
move stuff. And I go, what do you mean? No. Nope. Move stuff. No. Nope. Like, I need to, I literally start naming what off things. What the fuck? I know. I start naming off things. I've never heard of this. Do you need, are in you gonna, my life, I've never heard of this. I'm Sorry. Like, are you going to need me to move the soap dispenser? And she goes, yeah, because we can't. I go, excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> What? I was like, do you need me to move my shampoo out of the shower? She goes, yeah, if not, we have to clean around it. What the fuck? So there I was gathering up like gallon bags full of just shit and put it in the garage. This is the stupidest thing I've ever later. heard in my life. Yeah. So what I was told is, is that. Is it a bigger company? I don't want you to say it. But I, don't even, I forget what company it is. Okay, Apparently okay. it's a bigger company around where I live. Okay. Supposedly, according to Chris. And I was not super pleased about that, number one. But number two, Chris told me that they were supposed to be there the entire time until the whole downstairs was done. Like, they would shampoo their carpets. They were supposed oh, to sweep God. them up. Everything. Like, it was all in depth. Okay, so it was going to be a deep, deep clean, though. Bitches. They showed up at 9. They didn't start till after 10. And then they got called by their manager at 12 and said, hey, where are you guys at? You guys are supposed to be at another house right now. So they rushed the last part. And I was like upstairs trying to get out of their way because I knew they were trying to sweep and mop. And I, oh, by the way, I, I wanted them to sweep under my couches. So I had to pull out all my couches. Shut up. <laughs> no. This is the worst present you've ever gotten, Chris. And, so, and I'm talking to no, you. No, he didn't know. I'm joking. The I'm poor joking. guy. Because his parents, his parents ended up coming in town too. So I was like, hey, take them to go eat. So I can like get the house finished up. I mean, white people problems, right? But still, like, what the fuck? Well, dude? he paid That's a, not a I will say he paid a, paid a pretty penny for it, too. So, of course, once he came home. I don't like any of this. I know. Well, once they left, right, I kind of went to go check stuff. And I was like, oh, my God, they didn't even mop my bathroom. They didn't even do the fan. And, and so I think he talked to them. Anyway, needless to say, the house was still clean. Uh, I'm yeah. very thankful for it. it was so clean yes and we had just literally a few friends over I had one friend yeah. she brought her husband and two kids okay. Robin I love her to death she just moved where I am at and I'm like thank god for nice. her nice I know and he had a few friends I think she over. just started following me what up girl oh yeah hey what up bro? hey what up Robin Majestic yes oh yeah don't you love that last name too yes it's legit so my husband brought over two friends just him them and like the, their significant others that's it okay and his parents that's it oh perfect no and they party or no what? rager the, his parents yeah like drink a little bit oh yeah they drink oh, okay they're okay, fine okay. yeah, like, yeah, yeah. His they're dad, not, like, no, tight. his dad and stepmom amazing nice love them okay so we plan it out i mean the house is clean so we don't have to worry about that i get a bunch of food ready for them we buy like i don't know a couple like a thousand dollars worth and not more fireworks dang the guys did yep they wanted Shit, it that's a lot i know chris and his dad went they were super excited and the kids yeah, of were really excited to see yeah, them yeah, too yeah. so we get there we have a bonfire out there you know we have a ton of food nice. we have some drinks nice and this is where the whole luke blair thing that you always talk about comes into play where you're like hey bring these over to people's houses when you go over don't to an event of theirs handed, yeah. don't come up to handy mm-hmm. at least one couple did and they were the couple who just ate and drank everything so it was kind of like really the one did they bring something no they didn't bring anything mm. i know those people yeah i have those people <laughs> like yeah everything yeah so the night's going well sure <laughs> we're out so far the night's going well we're outside i'm not gonna try to draw this out we're outside the kids are like i'm dancing with the kids no go we're, into detail we're doing let's fi- do it no, we have doing, time we're doing fireworks the kids okay. are getting like so excited because all the fireworks we shoot them all off before they leave because okay. the kids have to go down to sleep yeah so my friend robin leaves with her kids and i noticed that when i was actually outside with robin for a while talking that most of the guys and one of the girls was inside for a while and i'm like where are they all at like what are they doing we're all outside talking by the fire uh-huh. what's everyone doing right so i go inside the house there's dog shit trampled all in the house. And by, mind you, I just, we just clean. And this is like, this is something that you cannot ignore. Like pile, like. Where did they get that dog shit? Though? One of the guys. So one of the guys was in the backyard. Okay. In our backyard mm-hmm. where we had, there's three dogs back there at the time. Right. And I'm guessing he stepped in dog shit late at night. What was he doing back there? Good question. Okay. So there was not even just dog shit, but there was also just like mud and dirt Ugh. all over. Like, and I'm not saying like little bits where I can ignore, but like these are big ones that people are walking sure. through. And I'm like, hey, when you guys need to check your shoes? Yeah. Type Let's of thing. Just get this under control. So not go in the backyard. Of course, I cleaned up really quick and whatever. Sure. So uh, while I clean that up, I'm noticing that there's literally booze all over my kitchen floor. 
like no joke um not like a couple little drops spilled but it looked like someone had spilled like a cup and there was okay. like a huge sticky piles you know and i'm and like they didn't try to clean it no up? was it the kids no the kids oh, were inside sorry yeah it was booze so they were inside taking shots the entire time mm. and by the time i came inside half of them were pretty sloppy and i was kind of like really like i'm looking and there's a whole bottle almost of jameson i'm really good at taking shots so like, <laughs> i'm judging them like hard. i'm not no. judging <laughs> i'm joking i come inside to like kind of a disaster a little yes. bit and i'm kind of like and i didn't care until i saw them all taking a bunch of shots and by the way they're drinking out of our pickle jar what? Oh, so they're doing picklebacks? So they're doing Jameson shots with pickle juice, but they're like psh, people who I don't really know that well are drinking out of my pickle jar. What the fuck? Like not even who are these animals? Not pouring it into a goddamn cup. They're pour- drinking out of the pickle jar. And one of the individuals was like, "Oh, I hope you don't mind." I'm like, "Nope, it's yours now." Was this Chris's parents? No, I'm yeah, joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right? joking. But well, and that's the thing too. So here's the thing: when you and I've done this before, I was young once. Sure. Okay, um, when you uh, shut up, when I was in my early twenties. Oh yes, that's what I mean Oof. by being young. Yes, if I wanted to drink and and I, if I wanted to influence others to drink, especially right. other guys that I was hanging right. out with, I'd right. call them pussies. I'd be like, "Come on, bitches! Right? Come on, let's oh. take another shot, you pussies!" And that's what was happening at Not my that home. We could even so take- Chris's dad had to drive the next morning down to Florida. And his ass is getting berated for not taking more shots. My husband's ass is getting berated for not taking shots. Berated one, by the girls. One of the, one oh, of the individuals it, at the party who it. just was, was the youngest one there. Yeah, one of the young, youngest individuals there who was taking like the most shots. And, and now, like, could this person handle it, or was no. it a fun little irony that usually happens with ladies where they? call a guy a pussy for not taking a shot and then they're puking and crying in the bathroom so that's about what happened oh tell me more so (laughs) it gets worse as the night goes on the guys are like obviously the guys no joke are six shots in okay six shots of jameson as we know they can handle it somehow i don't know how but but they're also you know four or five drinks in two got it got it and i mean i'm telling you they took these shots like like one right after the other yeah danger zone so they also go outside and they're having a bottle rocket Roman candle war at each other. Like they're and it's funny. Right. Right. So then my husband, my husband, my wonderful husband I decides love you so to take much. Lola's dog toy, the Kong. Right. Yeah. The Kong has a little hole at the top and the bottom. And he puts a lit fuse in there and he's trying to put it in his dad's back pants pocket. And I'm like, that's probably not a don't let's not that's probably not a good idea. And all the guys are like, yeah, this is a great idea. Cause they're all wasted off their ass. And so then he burns the shit out of his hand because he had his hand below the Kong where the fl- <sighs> like where the heat was coming out, right? And so all of a sudden I know notice everyone goes back inside and all the chicks are sitting outside. And it's me, his stepmom, another one of the wives, and another one of the individuals. And this individual spills her entire drink all over her, <laughs> almost all over the fire. And we're like, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's time people slow down. Sure. Because a bunch of the, I don't want to say a bunch of the wives in general, but they were all kind of being like, really? Do we have to get this sloppy? It's not even 10 p.m. yet. Exactly. And we have kids here. That's a, and there the was equalizer. Kids, like, and we're driving home. Yeah. And we're driving long distance tomorrow morning. Like, Ugh. you know, type yeah, of thing. Yeah, can we? Yeah. Like, kind of. And also, I was talking to one of my friends about this. When you go over to, like, a family home that's really nice, for the most part, you don't expect to go to a rager. Like, if you want to rage, go to, like, your buddy's house that kind of doesn't really take care of it as well doesn't mind getting it dirty or like a frat house Mm -hmm. or like let's go out to a bar like if i knew that everyone wanted to be taking shots and raging then let's let's go out to a bar and make that place a mess exactly you know exactly so i go give this chick you know a towel like try to help her out i go back inside starts taking more and more and more and more shots so i see my husband and his fingers are underneath the faucet obviously yeah and he's to the point to where like he's ready to pass out and the chick hands him another shot And I was like, oh, fuck to the no. No, no. And I'm not trying to, and don't get me wrong. Like, he's his own man. I'm not trying to, whatever. Like, I'm not trying to control him. Right. But I want him to be coherent and not regret it. Yeah, yeah. And he does the same thing with me. Like, if he knows I start getting so drunk, 
where I want to start taking shots to be like, oh, it was probably, uh, yeah, that's yeah. probably not. Yeah. Because you're yeah. really going to hurt tomorrow mm-hmm. morning. Yeah. And I have to take care of you. So I told him, hey, babe, can we just please not? And he was like, okay, yeah, sure. And Perfect. I just hand him his drink. Good and response. He's, right? He's good. So I'm like cuddling on him and he's putting his head in my tits. And sure. so he's loving it. As you do. And um, I look over and a couple of drunk individuals are eating at the food table. And they're so drunk, the food's not going in their mouth. And they literally have oh dip. Oh, God. They what have, time is it now? It's not even midnight. It's, it's like maybe 11. Mm. And uh, they have food, like this hot dip falling all over their bodies. <laughs> It's falling onto the ground. There's not like, the dip. There's piles of just buffalo chicken dip oh, no. all over. Oh. And one of the individuals looks at me and goes, oh, don't worry. I'll like clean it up. And I was like, well, thank you. Like, who else is yeah, going to clean it up? I me? would say, yeah. Like. Yeah, don't worry. I'll clean it up. Mm. So it looked like a child kind of went over to the table later on and just like put their hands there. You know what I mean? I cleaned it. <laughs> oh, so now another individual was wearing a sp- Sparkle. They had something sparkles on them. They had something sparkly. Like glitter type? Okay. That cannot come off. And everywhere they went, there was glitter. I bet I know who it was. <laughs> From the story. I'm just saying <laughs> I bet I know which individual. So I don't know. It was on our couch. It was on the sure, floor. It was on the sure. walls. It was in the bathroom. It was on beds. It was everywhere. And so I'm sitting there trying not to go crazy because I'm like, literally, this house is... The kitchen was disgusting. You just like spent so much money getting yeah. it cleaned. And so. Um, That's the bitch of getting your house clean before you have a party, which you always do. But it's yeah. like, ugh, it's all going to go to shit. I mean, it all it goes just, to shit. It got shit. to the point to where I was taking, like, once midnight hit, thank God. Right? Like, no one realized that we were all sitting outside. Half oh, the you people, didn't do the, like, five? No, five. I want So, half the people everyone's were so. Too drunk. Everyone's so wasted for the most part, except for a few individuals. I was like, hey, Google. Countdown for us. And it starts counting down, right? Like seven, six. And like, I'm the only one that goes, Happy New Year. Right. And I go and I go over to my husband and give him a kiss. And he was like, what? what? And everyone else is like, wait, what? Who? What? And I'm like, oh, Why are you saying my that? Lord. <laughs> and it got to the point to where I couldn't even enjoy myself. Right. Because I'm right. helping take care of people. Right. Making sure that, oh, one, one of the individuals ran into our oven and made a dent in it. In the kitchen as well. So confused. How did... What do you mean? Uh, They fell. Okay. Their knee went straight into the oven. Ooh. And they made a dent in it. And looked at me and was like, oh, sorry. I was like, cool. Our oven has a dent in it now. Like, do you see what I'm saying? Jesus. I find it really... And listen, it'd be different if you were also on that level too and you were like partying I'm not going to be fun. damaging my home that but we I mean, pay a lot of money for. Right. But you would be like, we had a crazy party, but it sounds like you didn't have that much fun but uh, but your house was still you know what i mean like when you there wake up like, and you go oh was, we had a there was, i would say there's probably three individuals maybe four who were like having a good time and you were not one of them two of them were overboard and one of them was just a shit show got it and it was just kind of like i really like you you're really cool but this is not cool right now right so to me like here here are just some basic rules right you go over to someone's house, sure. and if they supply food and drinks, then maybe bring something. If not, offer to pay them. Did they ask you? So here's, no. I mean, so usually when someone they says, no, they did not I'm ask. having a party, and this is what we do like in Everyone our group. Everyone else asked. Yeah, so you just say, hey, can I bring anything? And, and I you will either leave it up to them, but I always appreciate it because I don't expect people to. Right. Right? So I always say bring an appetizer. Because then people can bring their well. One of them brought the dip, they and, they, and yeah. one of them brought the dip, and they brought two bottles of alcohol for yeah. each person. Beautiful, you and did like, your job. That was super sweet. Perfect. I mean, and his parents like helped, you know, get the stuff Obviously. and set it up together. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, if you're going to partake and everyone's and if you were going to go over to someone's house and drink all their liquor and be drinking like pickle juice out of their jars and eating all their food, maybe, maybe I will say I learned that. Not late, but, like, my parents never told me that. Like, I'm not – I'm from California, like, mm-hmm. not from the south or whatever. So there are certain things, thank you notes, never coming empty-handed, that I had to learn on my own a little bit later. Sure. I was definitely early 20s, but I don't know where I learned it, but I learned the never come empty-handed and, you know, yeah, say thank you. You know what? 
I normally always try to bring an appetizer yeah. or something. I ask them what I can bring. If they say nothing, I bring alcohol, not just for us, but I bring stuff for yes. them too that I know that they like. Yes. And I'm the type of person that I love setting up with them and I love helping them clean. And I don't love cleaning particularly, but it is to me, if someone's going to have you in their home, I think you should help them clean up. Right. Not always. But Not I think always. You should. Right. Right. Because then that especially also if you're part of making a mess. That also sometimes means that you're staying later than you should if you're cleaning. Right. Yeah. Well, there's been times that yo, we, I'm sure. No, we've had friends um be like, hey, you guys can spend the night. You guys don't have to drive home. We're like, this is great. Oh yeah. So yeah. when my friend had us over nice, for Thanksgiving, for sure. yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. We were like, hey, we're kind of far. We're kind of further away. Do you have a spare bedroom? And she was like, oh my god, yes, of course. Yeah. So. What I always do is, like, I help them clean in the morning if I have, t- you know, before mm-hmm. we leave. Or I help them clean that night. That night. I always take the sheets off the bed. I sometimes put them in the washer and dryer if I know where it's at. Any towels that we used, I'll try to throw. Yes. Like, I don't like leaving the place a mess. Or if they're like, hey, no, just leave it. I still make their bed. It's just something that I do. I know a lot of people listening are like, yeah, I know. No, this is but not common sense. But there's a lot sense. of people that For some people. don't. For some people. And yeah. I don't know what it is, but... It is a lesson that you hopefully learn later on, but it'd be nice to learn it earlier, right? Yeah. Uh, so I was just, if anything, I was really, like, I was really enjoying the beginning of the night. Yeah. And then, like, there I am, like, taking care of my husband and making sure, like, individuals weren't, like, wrecking my home. And I wasn't yeah. trying to be the person who was cleaning nonstop, but I was like, well, I obviously had to pick up dog shit. Right. And obviously, I'm going to pick up all this alcohol on the floor. Um yeah cool we have a dent now and that is a little bit it's like welcome to hosting but in some ways like i think the group that you brought together this was a very small group small group but it sounds like eclectic and maybe next time we'll like think of like if you are gonna host something you'll think of like like-minded maybe like everyone has kids or see that's everyone, the problem do you know what i mean Where like now it sounds like you have some glittered out uh young dr- drunk <laughs> bitch and then like a family with kids and I then will, and parents and so sometimes yeah. and that can be that's the most ang- like talk about things that give you anxiety like bringing people together that aren't going to mesh really is my biggest like anxiety thing so you have so, parents that no. first of all i'm like oh my god oh, no, i don't his want parents are amazing like, they're awesome. cool right but they maybe they're, they're not individuals. cool with like the glittered out drunk bitch right so like th- there's a level his, his dad was like woohoo this is sure. awesome and woohoo is the little but then bit she wasn't but his wife was not was like really r- like right really so that kind of stuff like even you saying well, it, like i'm thing. sweating i did not ex- i don't know that this individual that well i never hung out with them as sure. ever really in this in this aspect so she was attached to a friend right and it like everyone who who we've always had over our house before has been fine and you know what i mean like it's never gotten ever really to that point right so now i'm just gonna say you know hey next time either we don't bring them over if right. we're gonna have like a chill time mm-hmm. or if we do want to have a blast and go raging let's go out to a bar and invite them right because i'm not saying she wasn't a good time she was a great time right but it was it was like it was not I, the great time that you were i felt like i was taking care i was taking care of an adult right so in my own home yeah so that definitely but you're right if though, we're gonna take to be, any lesson away from it uh on our part right Uh Which is like, because they fucked up. They didn't bring something. They were a ridiculous person. They got glitter everywhere. They made dents. Well, it's not even that. They But. Something of ours was stolen. So listen. You know, like. Yeah. Something, something of my, something of mine was taken and I kind of saw it and I was kind of wondering to myself, is this real right now? Oh my gosh, you have to tell me off air. I will but anyway. And I, and I had, I want to wait till they were sober to approach him about it. It wasn't like major. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, I it was kind it was, of guess it's probably a gloss or a makeup thing or a hair thing or whatever. I'm not, I'm purposely not mentioning it because it's a big deal. It's a big deal to you? No, it's a big deal, like, by the law. <laughs> so I'm purposely not mentioning it, but I'm saying it, it got Damn to, it. it got to the point at the end of the night where I was just kind of like, oh, really? Is this really happening? So imagine someone Can I guess? going into your, what? Yeah, guess. Is it a gun? 
no, oh my god, no. Imagine someone going Jamie. in Jamie. I know Jamie's guessing. Imagine someone going into one of your cabinets. Okay? Where you might have like medicine or something. Oh. Well, I do that. <laughs> you steal people's fucking Look, just one or a little just a little nibble. They're not going to miss it, mm. especially if they're old. Yeah. Oh no. Here's I've the taken thing, it from my grandma before. Absolutely. Very, no, I'm joking. Very, That's not cool. Well, definitely I'm just saying, not cool. You, if we're all friends, which I thought we all, everyone was, there, right. Just ask. Exactly. So, you know, what I, I mean? think I would definitely. Ask. I'd be like, hey, sure. But I saw, like, so I was kind of like, did he just put it in his pocket? I don't know. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then I like went back into the bottle. I was like, there's stuff gone. And then I had to go, okay, well, everyone's really drunk right now. I don't want to accuse anyone of anything. So I'm just going to ask tomorrow. And then it just never happened. I'm kind of like, whatever. And now I hit him. More important. Do you have, <laughs> do you have Oxycontin? <laughs> I have Oxycodone. Codon, codeine, codeine, however you say it. Good to know. That's all I took from the story. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I will say this. I'm a hoarder. Okay, and any like medicine. Those things wouldn't last a fucking week. And in my I house. first of all, I hate pain medication. You do? I do not. I've only taken it. It's okay, so we can still get along. I know. So you're saying that I can? Oh, my gosh, give my you- dream in the second half of life is to be on pills <laughs> and drinking martinis in a muumu with a huge ring in oh, New York. Oh, you would be. That's my you, dream. That would be you. Oh, and well, just like trying to keep it classy, but then like. Sometimes not. Sure. Really. But yeah, go ahead. So, no, I just have stuff. So I have like yeah, yeah. Tremadol okay. and like Oxy and a couple other things that was like prescribed in the, you know, in the past. Yeah, yeah. And stuff that if I, a lot of times I won't use it all. So I like, keep it up there. I don't I'm know if it's always the best thing because I technically I don't think in the military it's like, you know, yeah, you have yeah. to be prescribed every single time, but it's whatever. Yeah. So we have it for like emergencies and stuff like that. And hey, but I don't want no, it stolen. I, no, no, like, I know. No, you know, no. Yeah. If I'm going to someone's no, medicine cabinet, horrible. like, I'm asking. Exactly. Because that's know, the kind like, of thing, hey, if you, you guys if are grab- friends, like, I just asked you. Yeah. Like, if we're out, or, like, I get, you know, I give people little nibbles of pills all the time. Sure. And I, if they were taking it, even though I would give it to them, if they're taking it from my purse, then I'm pissed. Mm-hmm. Right? Because then I'm like, dude. I so know. I hear you. So that was, the, that was like kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. Like I was yeah. really patient with it all. And I hear like the bottle being shaken and opened. And I'm kind of like, what's going on? Because they're drunk and like, they're not like, they're being sloppy. Like what's going on? And I was like, why are you guys giving my husband more shit? He doesn't need it. Like everyone's, you know what I mean? Like everyone's drunk. I'm like, the last yeah, thing I yeah, need yeah. you guys yeah. do is overdose Be on, on pills. something. Yeah. And I see a hand that's like a fist that's still clenched with stuff in it. And like it's trying to be hidden and goes into a pocket. I'm like, this motherfucker. Shit. And I even brought it up to my husband the next day, you know, because I was like, hey, this is like your your friend you invited yeah. over. Yeah. Like, you want to talk to them about it? And and he was like, well, you're so open and honest with everyone. Why don't you just bring it up? Why did you mention in that moment? See, I was like, but Chris, you cannot use this show to confront your friends. <laughs> <laughs> right? But it was one of those things where I was just like, well, I did want to approach him, but one, I, I didn't know, and no, I didn't want to guess. No, and then that starts a whole I to, fucking thing. I like, want to make sure that yeah, I looked yeah, at the yeah. bottle. And number two, like, I want to wait until people are sober and they have yeah. a right mind. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't want it to be ever accusatory. Like, listen, if someone like needs something, I'm not going to sit there. You know, if they have an addiction, I don't want to sit there and be like, yeah, here, like, take it all. Yeah, yeah. But like, I'm not one to sit there and go, oh, no, 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 no. Like, you definitely can't. I just, when it's done secretly, it kind of makes you go, oh, well, that's not right. <laughs> oh, but so, then I, now, but then I'm thinking about confronting him sober. Like, oh, uh, it's awkward. That's even worse. It's awkward. <laughs> Maybe you right? should just drunkenly be like, dude, what the fuck? Like, but put I it back. Wasn't, like, I know, I know, and I, I know. wasn't drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Too. So you were still, you'd be like the cop, the so, narc. I would have been the narc, and I'm not really a narc. Like, it sounded like you were the DNA. narc of the party. Like, I'm not going to lie. But oh, that's my God. <laughs> First of all, I was the only one dancing. I was the only one having oh, yeah, fun with no. the kids. You were Actually, trying to have a diff. That's what I'm well, saying. Well, shit, I did a shot with them, too. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, mine was probably about yeah, yeah, one-fourth yeah. vodka and the rest pickle juice. Yes. So I'm in there trying to have a blast. But at the same time, I'm realizing that there has to be a responsible individual. My mother-in-law even texted me the next day and was like, I am so sorry for the mess you have to clean up. Like, they want to leave early. I don't blame them. Right, they right. They would leave early and get on the road. So by the time we woke up, I was awake at 8. They were gone already. Yeah. 
And she's like, I'm so sorry for the mess you had to clean up. I'm like, no, it's fine. That's why I'm saying, you know, we're going to pick in the future. We're going to pick our group of people that we decide to bring together. That's so hard to do when you and your husband have very different friends. You know well, what I mean? Maybe you guys shouldn't be together. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you hear that? Do you hear that? Our buddy? friends I mean, don't match. Look, so. I mean, come on. So I think we should give Broette to the week to Drunken Glitterface. I'm just joking. <laughs> Lord have mercy, no. <laughs> now, look, again, though, well, like you were you saying, no, you were saying, oh. like, um, oh, you know, the night, all you said to me in the text was, like, well, the night kind of disintegrated, blah, blah, blah. I said um, I was taking care of a bunch of drunk a assholes. A bunch of drunk assholes. And I was like, dude, a little bit of me, like, kind of missed that. Sure. As annoying as it probably was, you yeah, know. I think that if they're here friends, it's different. It's different. When what they're you your ask? husband's friends. Oh, true. And you don't know mm-hmm. know them that well as as well as they do, right? Then it's kind of like, hmm. You what know? were you gonna ask me? Okay, so does um does Ross have any friends where there's like a guy girl couple, and you don't like really? He's really good friends with a guy, but you don't really get along with the girl, or you guys just aren't alike. Um, no, oh. but I for sure have. So the way that we work is that he's very much the person that will just like cut people out for no like the littlest thing (laughs) right so the group that he has curated for himself Uh is like very they're like to his standards they're very well vetted yeah because he'll just be like he'll block you he'll send you he'll like won't talk to you anymore he always is like i don't need friends like i'm super busy like if you're if we're gonna hang out you have to be fucking cool oh good for him i on the other hand (laughs) and especially back in the day Uh just collected a bunch of random weirdo (laughs) losers because they were fun and so was i by the way so i had this group of people that some of them are still in my life some of them are not but Mm -hmm. i'm more of the person that that would happen to with him where like i like the girl and the guy's an idiot or whatever it may be Mm -hmm. um so i don't have that but i could see how it goes Right? You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's hard sometimes where, and I'm not saying it's us particularly, but I've seen it Yeah, where I might have girlfriends and I'm really close to them, but their dude maybe just it's doesn't get along hard. with mine. It's very or hard to vice find versa. A, a power couple. Yeah. And we've been on the hunt. Uh, you and Chris are pretty close. Well, you know what's funny like the is guys, I will say this. Well, the guys are jiving, the girls are jiving, and Chris it's like... Chris and Ross were bonding like hell that oh, night. Oh, I think they kissed. I w- he was like, where... He was <laughs> like, like they made this? out. He goes, where was this picture taken with you, Dan and Jesse, in the booth? I was like, oh, when you were fucking kissing oh, yeah. Ross's ass in the corner the whole yeah, time. Yeah, when you guys were kissing... Were sucking face. By the fucking... <laughs> by the papa shop. <laughs> Over there, yeah, the... Where you guys went into the bathroom. We don't know basketball. what you guys did. Yeah, I'll show you my basketball. Yeah. It was like... <laughs> it was all night. They were funny, So, no. But, like, that's a power couple, right? Where, yeah. like, you you and him don't have to hang out. Yeah. Me and Ross don't have to have, hang out. We can kind of, like... And I like that, though. Hang, you know, kind of regroup, talk to each other, Correct. split off again, whatever. But it's really, really hard to find that. It we is. have a couple, you know, people in our lives, too, where it's, like, the girl's awesome, but the guy sucks. The guy's awesome, but the girl... And it's, like, yeah. very hard to find... And maybe it's just happy couples, to be honest. Like, when a couple is unhappy, they usually are not that fun to hang out with one of them. But I anyway. I kind of see that. Right? If you're I happy, kind of if that. you're really happy and secure in your marriage, like, you're going to be fun at least but a little bit. But some people just are, you know, some people are very, just very different. They will be different than you. Yeah. You know, I, I do like to drink. I like to party. I like to have fun. I'm louder. I like to talk. So when the individual is the complete opposite, like, they don't drink. They're on their phone the whole time. They don't want to talk to you. You know, it's really hard when my, you know, my husband's like, hey, be friends with them. And I'm like, I've been trying. I've been trying. But sorry. You can't make the friends thing happen. I'm not going to try that hard, to be honest. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, you know what's funny? I think I need to mention this. So I was in the Drinking Broettes um, Facebook group, right? And all these girls. Shout out, ladies. Girls, you guys, I'm loving it. Oh, so Uh, Daily, I actually never get on Facebook, but daily I'm going to get on Facebook because just to see what you guys are writing. And I'm like, oh, this is so like open it's really really awesome it's refreshing yeah but um a couple of you guys in the past were talking about gray sweatpants and i I think a couple of you guys post that you're men in like gray sweatpants and i showed (laughs) chris i was like dude this is the trend and i was just like this is like the end thing and guess what i came home until yesterday (laughs) 
<laughs> like in a serious way or joking? Him cooking breakfast in gray in sweatpants. In gray sweatpants. <laughs> or it was like lunch or something. I, cu- I get into the kitchen and I was like, where the fuck did these things come from? And I didn't see well, his I think bulge. Russ just bought some too. <laughs> bulge. Bulge. And I was like... Oh, hey there. And I'm like humping his, I always hump his leg, like as a joke, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, what is this? He's like, well, you showed me them. So, and you talking about oh, how much God. you liked them. Good so I man. Figured, and I was like, look at you. Good man. That's what I'm talking about. Getting the There's fucking worst. Some, that's what I'm saying though. Getting the worst cleaning company of all time. But then. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. They still did pretty good. What? That sounds horrible. They, they, I, I felt. It's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. We're not going to normalize it. Listen, it's I weird. get anxiety about that stuff, too, because um, Chris was like, hey, uh, listen, the lady said that they'll come back to the house. Just have them come back and show them everything they didn't clean. And I was like, no, 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 no. Well, you can't now because you had a fucking rager. I was like, oh, not even that. I mean, we definitely clean the next morning. Okay. Uh, but I just was kind of like, no, I don't no. want them to because I have anxiety. Like, ties. I don't want them to tell them. Like, I told them to go over things a few times. A couple, like, you know, one lady kept not going over the same thing, even though I told her to. And I just realized, like, what do you say after that? You can't. No, it's worthless. You literally just go, yeah. thank you. Mm-hmm. We were eating that money and we're just not going to hire you again. Yeah. Sometimes. It's I not worth them, it to keep. Yeah. Um, I know. Do you have a drinking bro at? <laughs> drinking bro out of the week. So, you guys, um, once we are live, which yeah. is in a couple uh episodes um we will be hopefully what are they gonna do dm our um our facebook yeah drinking broettes podcast page yeah the easiest thing is we'll have our facebook and instagram both hooked up where where we can receive messages on both so we'll be at drinking broettes podcast yes on on Facebook facebook and um ig yeah and tiktok shut up and (laughs) my first video i posted was you on there what i'll show you it after <laughs> oh my gosh but you guys find it uh it's you dancing oh yes i do I love really to make a to weird it. face yeah and uh yeah so if you guys write us on there and all those get synced up to the same inbox it'll be easier for us to keep track of them yeah yeah send us your guys's drinking brouettes of the week tell us why give us their story um what's so amazing about them whatever it might be yeah whatever they're going through and we will go through those yeah and um for now, we are not really connected with you guys. Yeah, yeah. So we've um, been doing people in our own lives. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Well, but hey, that's well, who we nominate. I do have so someone I like, want to shout out. Please. So you said Robin followed you. Yes. Robin, I will say, is one of the most down to earth. She just seems cool. Chicks that I know. Yeah. Uh, she keeps it real. She's very honest. I'm very proud of her because she stepped out of her comfort zone. So she's a mama too. Right. And she's been a stay at home mom the whole time. She wanted to be able to raise her kids. That was yes. what she wanted at her, you know, in home. And they just made a big move. They lived in California for a long time. They just moved to North Carolina. So that's a big deal, right? Yes. She's her husband's in the army, constantly moving. She does so good with dealing with the whole aspect of things. Yeah. And she goes, Cool, new place, new beginnings. I'm doing this. I'm gonna get a job. And she got her personal trainer um exam like she took it she got her license and she's now a personal trainer in a gym and i'm telling you right now she's a walking billboard for her being a personal trainer yeah yeah she was skinny as can be she got into the gym it was kind of just her stress relief right it was just her way just to like let the whole world off of her shoulders and she was at home all day with the kids and she became super fit very intelligent and educated on it and now she's training people she literally walked, she walked into the gym and they were like, Hey, do you want a personal trainer? She's like, actually, no, I have my certificate. I want to be And then one. she worked out. And afterwards they were like, Hey, we want to hire you. Boom. Hired. And what now a- she's helping training other people. What an awesome chick. I think she's not, I, you know, she's gotten a few, I think she's got like a military client who wants to do better on her, um, army PT test or something. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, dude, Robin, you're one of the best people she can get because you're going to get her where she needs to be. <sighs> so she was here. I, you know what? She's actually keeping me in check a little bit. Nice. She knows I want to kind of get back in shape and get motivated again. Mm-hmm. So she hit me up the other day after seeing one of my posts and was like, hey, you want to work out? And I was kind of like, that's what I need it. <laughs> You're like, that's why I kept posting well, like, passive no, aggressively no. towards you. No. You know no. when your friend's a trainer and they don't even call <laughs> and you? And don't even call you. Actually, I did tell her a few times. Though, I was like, I really want to work out with you. <laughs> I think it's super sweet that she reached out. She's like, I'm like, let's work out Thursday when I'm back. She has like the best booty. 
Really? Like, you want to take a bite of it. Nice. Yeah, because she does all these butt workouts. So I'm like, burn my butt in the best way possible. Possible. Whoa. Okay, easy. Wow. We're going <laughs> to... We're going to end on your super lesbian uh, relationship hey, with the drinking with bread that. of the week, which is awesome. <laughs> I love her. Um, ladies and a few gentlemen, yeah. we love you. Have an awesome day. Wait, where can they find you, Jesse? <laughs> on all the bullshits. On all the bullshits? Jesse Wiseman on all the butch- bullshits. I just got on TikTok. I Did didn't you? post anything. But... I will be because you'll be forcing me to. I will be forcing you to. And I'm uh, the real Tiffany Hart because they ain't no fake Tiffany Hearts out there, folks. Because <laughs> there's so many. <laughs> there's so many. You need to be the real one. Just look up Tiffany Hart and you'll find me. Yeah, you'll find her. But it. really find drinking broads because we want you guys to engage with us. We want to hear more. We're excited about this. We Once hope yet. you guys are too and we want to do you proud. And good evening. See y'all. <laughs> Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl I'm moving on. Yeah, don't y'all better things to do.